using Christianity. Mm. Can I tell you this? Respectfully, Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, God is calling us back to genuine spirituality. We are beginning to lean on the philosophies of men. Now, I'm not saying these things are wrong, but church, make sure we do not replace the shoulder of priests with a cart in carrying the presence of God. There are things only God can do. There are things only the presence of God can do. A, a laptop and an iPad, an iPad and a phone and whatever they can help to digitalize my study but they cannot impart the Holy Ghost to me so do not idolize them thank God for the convenience but if you want God you need more than a laptop you need a functional relationship with the God of heaven are we together the pride of man I pray that in our lifetime that God will grant us grace that these things, this acknowledgement of the glory of God happens in our lifetime so that the pride of man will not reach the heavens and make us see these things we've been reading in the Bible. Read your Bible and see what happened to men when their pride got to the heavens. Usually there will be a visitation upon that land that brings the people back. Is it Nebuchadnezzar? Is it Herod in the Bible? Read men and women who believe that they were invincible. Over dependence. Over dependence. Preachers, let's be careful. Listen, uh, please don't, don't find offense in what I'm saying. You are a man of God. Thank God for LEDs. Thank God for mics. Thank God for everything. Thank God for excellence, ACs. None of them can bring the presence of God to your congregation. You need functional fire that comes from the secret place. Those things only help to provide convenience. No matter how expensive your clothes are, no matter how intelligent your speaking is, believe me, icing is only useful when there is a cake. When there is nothing, you don't eat icing like that. Are we learning now? I'm saying this because there are many younger ministers who are already learning some of these philosophies. No place of fire. God calls you, the first thing you are looking for is a laptop and a Bible with several versions. Congratulations. Let me tell you how God makes men. There is something called the cave of Adulam. There is, there is a place of training that no amount of convenience and technology can replace. Are we together? Yes. Over dependence. I have this, I have that. Ministry must work for me. I just came in from so 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 places. I have this and that. In fact, there is one technology, is the latest one. Gentlemen, let me tell you this. By the privilege of God's grace, this man stands. I don't claim to know everything, but I can tell you I've worked with God a bit. I truly know what commands power. Many of the things we think bring power is not what brings power. Technology does not fast. Technology does not pray. Technology can help you hear a message. But ladies and gentlemen, whether you hear Bible on tape, you hear Bible on whatever, until you pray, until you build your spirit man and have a track record with God, Don't misunderstand me. Remember point one, over dependence. Are we together? The moment something goes wrong, the first thing most believers think about is, um, which of my certificates can solve this problem? Which connection I know is a simple thing, I, I can manage it. Small pain there, I know I'm just waiting. My, my brother is a doctor somewhere. Can I tell you the truth? The days that we are in now are days of high level spirituality where this is why you can see, you can see what happens. Our medical people here will tell you, you can find someone not taking in. What is the reason? Everything that should make for pregnancy is there and yet it does not happen. Demons are telling you that if it's advancement, we've tasted this long ago. 
over dependence on the strength of the flesh submit your prayer request for prayer no my uncle just became chairman of one board somewhere and God is watching you and saying except the Lord builds a house they labor in vain that build it except the Lord watches over the city the watchmen watch it but in vain thank God for posters thank God for billboards thank God for all of these things but none of them has the power in themselves to draw intelligent people to God's presence it takes that anakazo the compelling power of the spirit to cause men to leave their homes to come and sit in your ministry who do you think you are human beings are not stupid John Wesley says set yourself on fire and the whole world will come and watch you burn Can I tell you, I know there is E everything, but there is no E fire. Mm -mm. If it is fire, it must be right there. You must set it and the impact must be felt there. Over dependence. Can I tell you, we are people who value knowledge. We are people who value all of the provisions that our times have made for us. But when I go before God, I don't go and say, Lord, we have this, we have... Mm -mm, mm -mm. There is something about the power of God and, and, and dependence. Dependence. A mic can amplify your voice, but it cannot impart the anointing. philosophies volumes and volumes of intellectual dissertations that do not have the power to transform you will finish talking intelligently and raise an altar call and half of the congregation is full of sinners and not one person will come out someone just trolls out out of pity ah. I made up my mind that I would never stand on any pulpit and just, just talk stories. And sometimes, you know, a sermon is going and people can even be distracted. Somebody is gisting and saying, instead of listening to this guy wasting our time, let's at least be discussing the, let's use the opportunity and quickly discuss the business on Monday. Go and read your Bible and see what happened in the past when preachers were preaching. There were people who were passing. They were not part of the people there. The power of God will hook them up like a and keep them there. Preachers, let's return back to the place of dependence. Thank God for all of these things. No man can build any ministry, not by any formula. Thank God for principles here and there. I do not negate them principles of excellence principles of this but let me tell you presence supersedes principles principles only work when presence is in place over dependence on the strength of the flesh giving credit to men giving credit to the flesh That is the reason why when God wants to make such statement, he leaves ordinary people like us and puts us there as a statement to say this treasure that is so earthen, but there is the excellency of power, you know, so that the excellency of power might be of God and not of us. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 3, let's hurry up. Zechariah 1 verse 3 Therefore say thou unto them Thus saith the Lord of hosts Turn ye unto me Saith the Lord of hosts And I will turn unto you Can I tell you Don't expect God to turn to you If you have not turned to him You turn to him as a sign of your desperation As a sign of your desperation There is, there is nothing 
so there is nothing as powerful as a believer coming to god and saying lord thank god for all these things i have my business connections thank god for the intelligence i have degrees i have all of this but i stand before you oh god and i acknowledge that if you do not open a door in this abuja that door will not be open if you do not open a door it will not be open and god says in spite of all these things you still have the sense to look unto me now the bible says they looked unto him and their faces were lightened do you know why several people especially in this season continue to fall victims of shame and the rest in spite of whatever qualifications i will tell you why because when god wants to use people he uses you in a way that all men will see that it is his power at work in you and if for any reason you have the tendency of pushing him in front of the stage light you will not do business with god over dependence on the strength of the flesh over dependence we have to repent of this pride not just men of god i tell you this this our generation is so arrogant building of empires it is by my strength every man was a baby in the hand of a woman one day we have to be careful there is the god who sits the monarch of the universe and we must be careful let's our preachers let's be careful as god keeps doing mighty things through our lives we must be careful let members know we are men it's just that we are of god this this system of self-glorification there is a difference between honor and pride go and read your bible and see what happened to people who refused to acknowledge god we give you the highest the highest praise to the king I give you the loudest. Yeah. I lift my holy hands. I give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. I give you worship, worship. You have taken all the pain you have taken all the sorrows you have taken all limitations you have taken all the tears you have made them yours listen lesson number one this night